Hello, hello. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. I am going to check again to see if I have sound. And I hope that if you're hopping on that you say hello and that you let me know how your day is going. And I, well. I do have sound. And let me know what tips have been helping you. It's Wednesday and it's actually one of my favorite times to come on and share tips and tricks with you especially if they help you deal with stress, fall asleep quicker, and just, just feel better all the way around. And if it works for you, I know that you're going to tell a friend, and then your friends are going to tell someone else. And then this has created a chain reaction of people helping each other, which is really amazing to me, and it's really awesome. If it is your first time here, my name is Tony Gonzalez, and I am the host of this group, Wellness For You. I am a first responder. More specifically, I've been in law enforcement for 22 and a half years. If you hear a lot of noise in the background, it's my dog, I apologize. I have um, decided that I needed to talk about stress and stress management and your stress style. So this is basically giving you tips and tricks on how to manage stress and I am a wellness coach, and I just want to leave you with the fact that I am so proud of the fact that I just earned my, my bachelor's degree. I worked really hard. I was on the long-term plan, if you know what I'm saying, but I did it. So anyway, today we're talking about sleep and how important it is for us. No matter what you do for work, sleep is important, people. We need sleep. And one of the things that I talk about is incorporating a little trick to help you relax, and that is lavender. But I will share that. I will I will share that with you at the end. So let's talk about some facts, because you know I like talking about facts. I like talking about things that doctors talk about, and this is helpful for all of us. Stress can impact your life in many ways, including negatively affecting the quality of your sleep. It makes sense, right? Hi, Drew. Uh, if if you lie in bed worrying, feeling anxious, which makes it almost impossible to relax and quiet your mind enough to fall asleep, it's no wonder people use the phrase losing sleep over something. If you're hopping on, say hello. That's why people who suffer from chronic stress day in and day out sleep less, have poor sleep quality, and find it harder to function well during the day. Raise your hand if this is uh, has affected you. It has affected me. Absolutely. I've had many times that I have could not fall asleep. Thanks for the thumbs up. I could not. Um, sorry, it's my dog in the background. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. I had problems sleeping. I had problems staying asleep. And then the next morning feeling like absolute crap right here, right? Unfortunately, this cycle will continue to get worse if you don't sleep enough at night. Your body boosts its level of stress hormones. This is important, and I really want you to please, please listen to this. The brain chemicals connected with deep sleep are the same ones that tell your body to stop the production of stress hormones. As a result, when you don't sleep well, your body keeps pumping out those hormones. The next day, you feel more stressed. The following night, you find it harder to fall asleep and so on. And it's that disgusting circle, right? So even worse, stress hormones peak in the afternoon and early evening, just when you should be relaxing and preparing, right, to, to relax. On top of that, the more exhausted you feel, the less you're able to focus at work and at home, leaving, le leading you to feel more stressed. You're also likelier to snap at your friends and family, causing stress over relationships, right? It causes some kind of friction. And that's why it's important to not only find ways to relieve the stress, but also find ways to get rest because that's how we, we rebuild our bodies when, through our stress. So if you're overly tense, try, to, try different stress relief methods. I'm not saying that the only things I talk about are the only go-to methods, but I'm just throwing these tips at you so you know that there's stuff out here that can help you feel better. So in the comments, if you don't mind letting me know what you use or if you use anything currently to help you relax at home or when you're going to bed. Um, I'll share with you, and many of you guys know, my go-to thing is lavender, lavender essential oils. And if you don't believe me, ask the guys that I work with. They will tell you that I am constantly 
bringing it to work and just gifting it out to people because I believe so much in it. So the importance of sleep. Sleeping is much more than a way to pass time or a means of getting rid of the bags under your eyes. <laughs> As we sleep, our brains and bodies go through important processes that are necessary for, for growth, learning, and memory and recuperation of the body systems. So while we sleep, our brain processes information, stimuli, and memories throughout the day. As the brain sorts through important information and memories, it clears away waste and excess information in order to refresh the mind, allowing the brain to start feeling fresh in the morning. And I don't know how many times I've woken up the next day with only a couple hours of sleep and I felt foggy and like things were not clear. And as first responders, we need to be clear, not foggy, and ready to, re to, to do our jobs, right? During the night, we experience several levels of sleep that allow the brain and the body to rest and recover. When we cut those processes short, our minds and bodies have had time, haven't had time to properly process and recuperate, which can cause problems in the long run. And that's what we want to try to avoid are these health problems, these other problems that might pop up. And this is one of the reasons that I talk so much about it, about relaxing, relieving stress, and just finding ways to, to take care of yourself. So what are the consequences of poor sleep? Experts suggest that adults get at least seven to eight hours of sleep per night. While the amount of sleep required may vary slightly from person to person, it is important for everyone to allow their body to rest for a sub substantial amount of time every night in order to maintain proper function of the brain and the body's major systems. Unfortunately, many adults do not receive the proper amount of sleep each night due to a number of circumstances, right? Including frequent interruption during the night by children or newborns. And I actually watched something today and I wanna share with you, if you have newborns, and you're looking for a way to help them fall asleep. I watched this, I don't have any small children, but I watched something um, by Rachel Hollis and she, on YouTube, and it's, um, and I'll share the link, and it's how to help your children fall asleep, and she learned this because she has four children. But anyway, I watched this thing. I don't have any small children, maybe someday grandchildren, right? But getting, it's, it's a great tip, but anyway. Inadequate bedding or an unfavorable sleeping environment, consumption, consumption of stimulating substances like caffeine, a demanding work schedule, and distractions like technology or entertainment. Another thing is if you're sleeping with your phone in, right next to your bed, you may not want to move that. There's, like, there's studies done about things that are affecting you while you're sleeping, and I'm not going to get into them right now because um, it's really lengthy and I don't just want to give you misinformation. But anyway, you may want to move it. In addition to these factors that often keep adults from getting proper rest, some people deal with more serious health conditions associated with sleep that can cause inter interruptions throughout the night. And this is why I tell you to please get a physical yearly. If you're having really bad sleep issues, see a doctor and talk to them about it because it could be something that it can be a quick fix. Um, but if you let it go long term, it could cause more problems. Because regular quality sleep is vital to the body's restorative processes, missing out on the proper rest can pose health risk, a lot of risks. So people, for example, inadequate sleep can impact our ability to lose weight or maintain a wealthy, I mean, a healthy weight. We do want to be wealthy, but anyway, throw that out there. Loss of sleep can also influence our emotions, behavior, and decision-making abilities, which can have negative effects on our daily life. So what, what do we do? We find ways to feel better, right? We find ways to relieve the stress. And I love leaving you with tips every single time. So it brings me to a couple oils that I use. And my favorite, I don't have to tell you, lavender. Lavender, lavender, lavender is my favorite. I, um, so I, I, I brought this. I wanted to show you the bottle, which I've shown you before lavender and I wanted to show you the tips and tricks this is the other oil margarine I don't know if I'm saying it right if I'm pronouncing it right but I want to show you things that you can do to help to actually relieve this stress um, while you're on the go because many of us are on the go right so I have this um, diffuser that I use 
and this one is for the car. It has a USB. Uh, I bought this one, believe it or not, at TJ Maxx for eight bucks. And I'm gonna take it apart. And basically this is what it looks like. And I have two of them. So this one's a new one. I put the other one in my car, but you can plug this into your, any police car and you can put it in, in your own personal car. Most of them have USBs. Of course, don't plug this in into your USB. If somebody's gonna say you're getting in trouble, there's no information in here, but you wanna follow rules, right? But in any case, these are awesome because you can put a couple drops in there of lavender and then it's in your car and it's helping you relax. It's not gonna make you fall asleep unless that's what you're associating with. In that case, don't take the lavender, use something else. Maybe orange to pep you up. Orange is a great scent. It's very, it's a happy scent, right? <clears throat> so ways that you can use these oils and, and ways to you can, you can fall, help you fall asleep. You can diffuse it in your home, maybe right before you go to bed, you get the diffuser going, right? Um, and get this lavender essential oils in the air. You can apply it on the skin, and that I would be careful with because you don't know what your reaction is going to be. You can use a carrier oil um, and use a, a roller bottle. If this is resonating with you, please share it out to your friends. And I promise that the most shares will get a free, a free roller bottle from me, and I'll mail it to you. I keep my promises, people. Um, you can also apply this on your clothing and in your bath water if you like to take um, baths. And that's basically my tips for today. And I want to leave you with a mantra. My Wednesdays go a little, little bit longer, and I thank you for sticking around. This is a bedtime mantra, all right? And I love, hi, Dan. I love sharing this with you guys. So the bedtime mantra is, as I sleep, I restore the health and well-being of my body, mind, and soul. And you recite this three times, either out loud or quietly to yourself before bed while placing your right, right hand over your heart and your left hand over your stomach. These are powerful energy centers of the body that are restored while you sleep. If you don't believe me, you, everyone needs sleep, everyone needs energy, and everybody needs to get themselves re-energized through the night. And with our stressful jobs and all the stuff that we have to deal with sometimes, this stuff is beneficial and can help you. So how can this help you? We all know how good it feels to get a great night of sleep, right? Sleeping well gives us the energy and motivation we need to get throughout the day, get through the day. And it makes it easier for us to see the positive in every situation. And if I know that sleep, when you're sleep deprived, you're a lot more touchier, you know, irritable. A lot of things happen when you don't get enough sleep. This mantra acts as a bedtime prayer that can be said to evoke a healing and restorative night of sleep. Through reciting this mantra, you are setting an intention of what would you like to get out of your sleep. When used over time, your body and mind will start to respond. This mantra is also great to use when you are looking to aid the healing process of any disease, illness, or emotional trauma while you sleep. While you sleep, your body, mind, and emotions are all being refreshed. And by changing this mantra, I mean, excuse me, by chanting this mantra before bedtime, you can set a more deliberate intention for this healing to occur. Practice using this mantra for a few weeks. Over time, you may begin to wake up feeling completely reborn. And I'm all about tr trying different modalities. A mantra might not be your jam. I am all about showing you different trips, tips and tricks. Lavender is amazing. And what I wanted to do was share this link with you, but I'm not sure if I have it. So what I'll do is I'll share it at the end. If you want to know how to get that, that oil, um, I'll share the link with you guys. And if you have any questions, you know that I'm always here to answer them. I'm going to leave my email here. Uh, if you have any questions, I am more than happy to an answer them. And just remember something, no matter what, is going on, it's important to take care of yourself. People are not gonna stop you and tell you, you know what, you need this today. They're not gonna tell you sometimes how awesome you are and what you're doing right. And you know, that's I guess part of it, but I'm here to tell you that you're doing everything right, take care of yourself and make sure that you make yourself a priority and that you're not letting stress run your life because it really does bad things to your life and to your body and we want to live way past our retirement. In any case, I hope that all these tips are helpful. If they are, 
please share them out to your friends. Let me know what you're getting out of them. And please remember to stay safe out there. Talk to you soon.